Hello, welcome to Electric Focus, and today we're looking at the question, how long does an electric vehicle battery last? And why you don't really need to worry about it. So let's get into the video. First of all, all batteries degrade over time. So you'll know from your mobile phone battery and your laptop battery, that you get some degradation and it's no different for an electric vehicle's battery. So you're going to get some degradation, unfortunately. However, there's ways you can prevent that being particularly significant, we'll come on to. But how do you assess the condition of your battery? Well, it's something called state of health when it comes to electric vehicle batteries. And when you first get your car, it will have 100% state of health. And as you use it over time, you get some degradation and that state of health will be impacted. So for example, if you had say 10% loss over a five year period and you've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery, then you've lost five kilowatt hours. And essentially that battery state of health then becomes a 45 kilowatt hour battery. So that's how it's measured. But how is that impacted? That's impacted by a number of factors. And this is why the question, how long a battery lasts is quite difficult to answer from most manufacturers because it really depends on how it's used, how it's charged and lots of other factors. So we'll try and cover some of them. So first of all, it's how many charging cycles that you undertake during the life of that battery that can have an impact also how fast you're charging that battery. So for example, if you're using rapid or ultra rapid charging a lot, then that's gonna have a much bigger effect on the battery state of health than if you're using slow charging, AC charging, charging at home or charging on lamppost. So slow charging generally. So if you're doing lots of DC charging, that has a, a bigger impact. If you're doing lots of AC charging, that has a less of an impact. The other thing to consider is when you're charging your car. So at what point in the state of charge you are starting to charge that car at. So batteries don't like to be completely depleted down to 0% and they don't like to be charged up to 100%. And we'll come on to something the manufacturers do to help you with that. But it's always recommended not to let the battery fully deplete and not to charge it to 100% all the time. So the manufacturers generally say that you should just charge between 20 to 20% 20 to 80% most of the time. And that's pretty achievable if you're doing a regular journey every day. And even climate can have an impact. So if you live in an extremely hot country or an extremely cold country, then that can have an impact on state of health over time. So actually, it's a good reason to have an electric car in the UK because we don't get many extremes here. So for once, our weather has some benefits. So there's lots of things that can impact on battery state of health, but how is this protected by manufacturers? Well, first of all, you have something called a buffer in most batteries. So for example, I've got the Jaguar I-Pace. It's got a 90 kilowatt hour battery, but it's got an 84.7 usable battery. And what that means is there's a buffer at both the bottom of the battery and the top of the battery so that when you discharge the battery, it never gets to 0% in reality, and it never goes to 100% when you're charging it fully because you've got a buffer on each end. So that's deliberately there to protect the battery and give you a better state of health. The second thing is that most batteries have battery management systems. And what that means is it regulates the temperature of the batteries because batteries getting really hot is a bad thing. That can affect the state of health. So therefore the battery management system, which are mainly liquid cooled, I think it's just the Nissan Leafs now that are air cooled, but mainly liquid cooled, it makes sure that the battery is protected over time. But ultimately, and the reason I said right at the beginning is that you don't need to worry too much about your battery state of health, is that most manufacturers will give you an eight year warranty or 100,000 miles, whichever comes sooner. And what does that mean? Well, it certainly means that if your battery completely fails, that your battery will be replaced. And batteries are very, very expensive, although they will probably reduce over time, and they certainly have reduced over time to this point, they're still 
going to be expensive things to replace. They are the most expensive thing in the car, let's face it. So you are protected from that with that eight year warranty, 100,000 miles. So the other thing manufacturers cover you for is the state of health of the battery normally. So they'll say something like that the state of health is covered over that eight year period, not to drop below 70%. It certainly says that for the iPace, for example. In reality, you should see less than that if you've looked after the battery well, but that's impacted by a number of factors, as I said, so it's difficult to pinpoint what that would be, but certainly that gives you peace of mind to know that the worst case scenario is you're gonna lose 30% of the state of health of that battery over that eight year period. And of course, there'll be some caveats within that warranty, but really, if you just look after the battery as you would expect by having it serviced regularly by a recognized repairer, making sure that you do all the software updates that come in and do those on time. And also, of course, just generally looking after the car. So you've got full peace of mind that you're gonna be covered by a good warranty from your manufacturer of the car, but do check out individually the car that you're looking at to see what is covered. And if you look after the car well, then that's going to reduce the amount of degradation you're going to see. Now, I can tell you from my own experience, I've got a Jaguar I-Pace, as I said, and I've had that for nearly three years. I generally charge between 20 and 80%. I charge at home most of the time. I only charge at 100% when I'm going on long journeys. And when I'm out and about and charging on rapid or ultra rapid charges, I then only charge up to 80, maximum 85%, and I try not to drop below 10% minimum when I'm out and about. So that's what I've done. And it, I can tell you that over the last three years, I've not noticed any degradation in battery. I seem to have the same range as when I started. Now, I've not done any official tests on that, but I'm just telling you from my experience of using the car that I've hardly seen any change. So perhaps that gives you some idea on how to get the best out of your car. So going back to the question, how long should a electric vehicle battery last? Well, as you can see, that can be influenced by a number of factors, but manufacturers are confident enough to give you a hundred thousand miles or eight year warranty and also a warranty on the state of health of the battery. So that shows you how confident they are that batteries do last a long time. And in fact, I've seen quotes of 15 to 20 years, potentially, if the battery's looked after. So I hope that was useful. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll speak to you soon.